Going back to what you said at the beginning, you were like, there's no such thing as a bad experience. It's, right. We're looking at the result yes. of our activities absolutely. as a signal of how well we're living. Yes, absolutely. And that messes us up because yep. the result of your activities is not under your control. Yes, absolutely. And so if you're living your life based on the result of your activities being a signal that you're successful, right. you're setting yourself up to, absolutely. and all of us do it all the time. I was using um, Jada's reaction to my actions as a measure of the quality of my actions. Yeah. And one thing has nothing to do, do with the, the other. other. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And that's, that's not what we're taught, right? And, you know, the, 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 the concept that someone's reaction to your behavior is theirs and your behavior is yours. And when you try to marry the two, when you try to use the outcome as a measure of the quality of your own being, yeah. that is the kiss of death. Correct. The, this, the way that this material world works, you can do everything right <laughs> and it still go wrong in terms of outcome. Yeah. And you can do everything wrong and it still goes right, right in the outcome. In the outcome, the outcome is not connected to the quality of your behavior, and that is such a hard idea to you know to digest. So when I started interacting with Jada and with my family, as uh, what a friend of mine, Michaela, Michaela Bohm, Love Michaela. yeah, what she refers to as a freestanding man, mm -hmm. right? So I am, I am certain, and I am committed to being who I am and how I want to be, without a craving for someone's approval, right? Because I know their approval doesn't have anything to do with me, right? Yeah. And you know, sometimes we get stuck in these situations where we're seeking the approval of someone for our self-esteem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> self-esteem yeah. is about yourself, <laughs> right? Absolutely. But we start looking to other people for our self-esteem. And, you know, sometimes we find ourselves looking in broken mirrors to get a reflection of ourselves, right? And the greatest tragedy is when you look into a broken mirror to see if you're pretty, right? And you're gonna let that person tell you about your inner qualities. And the, the greatest tragedy is when you look in a broken mirror and you're gonna change your face to try to look good in a in broken world. mirror. Man, whoo, I'm so glad to be free from that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah. That was, yeah, that is incredible. And that, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's 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 literally it. Yeah. Like when you can free yourself from that cycle. Yeah. And, and, it's, uh, and it's a trap. It's, it's rough. It's crazy. It's it just keeps you there and um you know, it's, but, but that's what I think I keep seeing in your journey, like to see you at this stage in your career to still be growing, still be pushing. I mean, for people who don't know, like I, I have to share this because it's what I find. And this is the only time I get to tell everyone <laughs> is, uh, you know, like for me to see you on set, busy, like, you know, I mean, for anyone who's never been on set, it can be a stressful environment. Um, you're, it's high pressure, like you're acting, you got to know your lines, you got to interact. And the sun's and going down. The sun's <laughs> <laughs> Will would literally come back in the trailer and he'd be reading in between being on set. So reading spiritual texts, spiritual books mm -hmm. in between. And I, I just saw that and I was like, wow, like, you know, it takes so much uh, effort and determination and hunger. Yeah. 
to be filling each and every gap with growth. Yeah. And so for anyone who's listening to this podcast while they're driving to work, while they're commuting, while they're editing a video, however you're consuming this podcast, I want you to know like you're doing that same thing. You're committing to growth. Committing to growth. In your gaps when you could just be doing something else. Like you yeah. could have been in your trailer I don't know, doing what people do in their trailers. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what people do in their trailers. No, that's my past, Jay. Oh, yeah. I don't, don't do that in my trailer no more. Yeah. I'm in there by myself now. Yeah. <laughs> All with me. Yeah. And, you know, and we would, you know, and just, I would see that dedication. And I think mm -hmm. if, you know, to find time in between when you're filming a movie and it's, you know, big budgets and all this, everything, and your, your, your focus was here. Yeah, yeah. Your focus was here. Yeah. Even in amongst all of that, that was truly inspirational. And, uh, you know, that, that behind the scenes look at your, your internal journey is, has had such a big impact on my life. Wow. It's, it's a no yeah. excuses journey. Yeah, 